Today is February 29, 2016. Yesterday, the owner brought this old Jet Russell in for hair loss. And I've given treatment and a wash and clipboard. And as you can see, with medication, the inflammation has gone down a lot. Uh, the diagnosis of the ringworm, the backside, you can see the backside is bald. Okay, turn, turn to this side, turn the other way, facing the way. Uh, you can see under the both side, there's a lot of ringworm. The black spots are the hue ones and the, the red ones are the latest. Okay, we got the chest, lift up the chest. You can see there's, there's a big saw there, but now the saw. The saw is much better now because of the drugs. So the owner will bring the dog back and uh, apply the medication and wash and give the tablets. The dog should recover. You can see the paws also, biting the paws as well. Those are bacteria infection and some fungus and yeast infection. Other than that, this old dog is uh, giving a good appetite and uh, should be recovering in two months' time. So the owner has to clean up the environment and uh, okay, go down and uh, apply the antifungal wash to the to the affected paws and the chest and the backside. Show me the, the backside. Lift up the back legs. Lift up the back legs there. The back leg lift up. No, the back legs. And you can see the backside. You can see uh, there are two areas. Those, those are due to also due to ringworm and the dog has been uh, biting it. There is no inner sac infection although it's possible that there is inner sac infection plus ringworm and you can see the pores are all infected. This has been going on for several years and the owner did not know. The owner does self-treatment but uh, there is a limit to what the, the self-treatment with uh, antiseptic and antifungus can do. This dog definitely needs medication and injections. Papaya vets, February 29, 2016, generalized ringworm in a Jack Russell. Okay.